Welcome back to the channel. We've got a long, hot, lazy blue sky day today. Now it's been a long time since I've used the Fujifilm X-Pro2. Use the 23mm f2 Fujinon lens. Stick on a 720 nanometer IR filter. Grab the tripod, a cable release. Head out for a good walk, keep an eye out for anything that could potentially make a nice black and white infrared photograph. Just line this shot up and I've sort of cropped cropped out the shed there as much as I can. Like that. Don't know if it works, I'll sure leave a bit of the shed in. Hey babes. Hey Kobo. Okay, at this point, I'm totally sold, totally convinced, totally hooked on IR photography. What I don't love, however, is the long exposures required with the use of an IR filter. The X-Pro2, or at least my X-Pro2, records a lot of hot pixels in the shadow areas, which are a pain to clone out. 
So after we search online, the time has finally come to get my to get my X-Pro tool boxed up, shipped out to a company in America called Colari Vision. And they're gonna do an 850 nanometer conversion on my camera, which is gonna make my camera an infrared black and white photography beast of a camera. I cannot wait. So once you order through Colari, they send you a list of do's and don'ts what to ship, what not to ship. Everything's all documented quite clearly for you. I've printed out the address to center. I've printed out my sender address. Disassemble the camera. So straight away, we'll take off the tripod mount. We'll take out the battery. Not to ship with the SD card, memory card. I think that's about it. Oh, the lens, obviously. Don't ship with a lens. So off comes the lens. Now, unfortunately, I can't find, for love no money, the body cap for this. So we're just gonna slot it into a little plastic bag oh i tell you what strap as well strap I could take the strap off bloody hell this could take a while actually i've got no fingernails all right so straps off ready to go away for infrared conversion <laughs> oh happy times happy times mm -hmm. 